Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and in this video I'm going to talk about calls. And the number of calls that we have to a script is going to affect our performance and our profiler. Uh, so let's say that I have this main camera script here, and let's say that I drop this test script on it about four times. So I have four test scripts, so every update, it's the same code as last time, uh, every update we're going to check this temp variable, we're going to debug something out. So let's go ahead and hit play and see how that one behaves. Notice we have much heavier spikes here than last time. That's because we have uh, a lot more calls uh, going out to this to this script. So if I click on this and I open up the behavior updates, you can see the behavior update has one call, and that's the internal call inside of Unity that goes through all the mono behaviors and it does an update. Now notice on our test update, we're calling it four times. That's because we have four scripts on here that are calling the same exact method. So we get that called four times because of all four scripts here. And notice that our garbage collection is going much higher than it was before. Before it was eight kilobytes, now we're at 28.5. So uh, that's basically how calls operate. And this, uh, this call count can be in recursion as well. So uh, I've actually never tested this with Unity, but we'll go ahead and test it out. Let's say that we call update, and instead of calling one debug log, we actually call uh, three debug logs inside of each test. So that's four test scripts, and that's multiplied by three debug logs, um, so we should have 12. So I'm going to hit play on this one. We should see even heavier spikes here. Now our spikes have gone up. And if we look at it, we can go inside of behavior update. There's one call. There's four calls to test update. And then we go to debug log, and there are 12 calls to debug, uh, sorry, debug log. Uh, so now you can see that we're calling that method multiple times here on each script. And so we're going to have multiple calls here. And of course, that's going to make our garbage collection go higher. And it's going to make our time in milliseconds go even higher. So you can see by adding more of these, it's making the amount of time it takes for this function or these scripts to be called longer. And if it takes longer to call these functions, your game is going to slow down. So by increasing the amount of time uh, that we're using on these functions, we're actually decreasing the amount of time that everything else can call functions. And that actually causes you know, the hiccups in games, the slower frame rates, um, and a lot of that stuff. So that's the call count. Um, I guess this wasn't a very long video. So uh, that's basically what these calls are. And these are calls from any script. So like um, if I had test2 and I was calling it somewhere else, uh, I'd be calling debug log from a different script, maybe a different object. It still is being called, it's calling the same function here. Um, so uh, I guess in this one, I can also talk about the self milliseconds. The time in milliseconds is the total amount of time that it's being used to call this function altogether collectively. And the self milliseconds is just this, uh, this function itself, how long it's taking. Um, and that's why it's called self. So often you'll find time in milliseconds um, called wall time uh, and self in milliseconds called self time. And uh, that's kind of the difference between the two. So uh, thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll go over garbage collection. We'll see how we can create garbage collection. Uh, and we'll see how we can optimize garbage collection with caching. Um, so uh, and also using better data types. So thanks for watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one.